Okay, many of you have asked for an update on how my simple aquaponics experiment turned out, and I've been surprisingly pleased with it. I've learned some things along the way, and a bunch of you have had some good suggestions and comments. With this one, I just had the floating bed, and I had some plants floating in the top, net pots and suspended over uh, bubble sticks, creating oxygen for the roots and the water and oxygen for the fish. The tank has had little to no maintenance in several months. The algae and some of the solids have accumulated in the bottom and need to be cleaned out. And I've learned that I really need a filter system for this tank. But my avocado seeds that started out as just little tiny seedlings have sprouted into nice avocado trees. The other plants that were in there, and some of them just didn't do well in the cold weather. It's gotten pretty cool here now. The goldfish have been very hardy and have survived really well. They're growing and getting quite a bit larger than what they started out as. But as you can see, there is quite a bit of algae in the bottom of this tank and solids that have accumulated. I'm planning to do it quite differently in my next setup that I'm fixing to do with a 55 gallon aquarium, which I currently have over here bubbling the chlorine out of the water uh, before I add fish to that tank. And that one's going to have a sump and filter system with it. But for this one, you can see how the avocado seeds, these are the original avocado seeds from the first one and they've grown into some trees. I've got a little bit of brown on some of the tips of some of the leaves and I think that's due to the algae getting around the roots at the moment. Uh, it's clinging to some of those roots so I'm gonna need to clean those off when I clean the tank as well and just give it a really good cleaning. So the project I'm gonna tackle tonight is making a filter for the pump just to get the solids and the algae and the nasty stuff filtered out of there without losing a bunch of water and sacrificing a bunch of the water that's rich in bacteria. What I want to do is use a head pump and a water bottle and some filter material just to circulate the water in the tank and suck the, uh, the nasty solids and algae up into the filter material. So these are going to be my supplies for this project. I have a 550 gallon head pump that I'm going to use to circulate the water in a tiny 10 gallon aquarium which is nuts to have that big of a pump but that's what I've got. I've got a water bottle here just a standard water bottle 16.9 ounce and I've got some filter material that I borrowed from my wife's sewing room. I was looking for some polyester like pillow filling didn't find any but she had like this padding batting material that I'm going to wad up and use inside this bottle. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut off the end of this water bottle. Next I want to remove the little wrapper or label from the bottle. Next I'm just going to take some of this uh, filter material and cut it in strips so that I can kind of stuff it into here, into the bottle. I don't know how much of it it's going to take, but so I'll take my pump. Now this pump I already test fit it on the end of the uh, on the bottle, and this pump has like a step down sizing on here, which is perfect for this bottle bottle slide right on there just like so. Got a nice tight fit. So now I just need to get some filter media down into the bottle that will catch all of the particulate nasty stuff. What I probably should do is take the filter material out to do this but I'm not just gonna be real careful not to light it on fire. What I want to do is just melt. Boy, that bottle is soft, soft plastic. I just want to try to round the edges a little bit with this. My plan is to put this in the in the aquarium that's just filthy, and see if just circulating the water with this the current in there from this rather large head pump, 550 gallon per hour, will circulate enough of the water around and mix it up that it will suck up all the junk in, into the filter bottle here. That's kind of the idea. And then just recirculate the clean water throughout the tank.
Okay, it's time to try our little experiment out here. I'm going to start by getting these media cups out of here. Do you think we could give it a thorough rinse and get the algae off the bottom of the cups as well? Another thing I uh, found with these goldfish is they like to eat roots. Wasn't really aware of that when I first started the experiment. But, live and learn, right? Okay. Uh, this resulted in a really tight uh, root growth inside the, the grow pots, though, the grow cups. So, this thing here is pretty filthy. It needs to be cleaned really well. So, we're going to start by inserting our pump in this filthy, nasty water here. A little rude and crude pump filter. So, we're just going to plug it in and see what happens. I'm going to let that run for a little bit and then I'm going to update. Get a little bit closer view of what's going on here. So it's already sucking up a bunch of junk in the end of the filter material. It might not take long for that to get clogged pretty well. It's definitely starting up the tank real well. We'll see how this goes, and I'll give a little update in just a little while. Okay, I've just disconnected the head pump. Uh, I've reached around in there and started up. It was actually a lot clearer looking than that a minute ago, but I was trying to see if I could suck up some more, stir up some more mess in there. Man, this thing is full of junk. I'm going to get this out as carefully as I can without dropping a bunch of it into the tank. Let me just set the camera down for a minute and see what I can do. So I've got it. Look at that. That filter is full of junk. Food particles, algae, and fish waste. It's just stirred up out of the bottom of that. So I'm going to do is put that over here in this bucket so I can empty this out. I have to turn the camera off. So, what I've done is empty out the really nasty filter material that's just soaked in waste. And I've taken some fresh new filter material and I repacked this filter. Then we'll take the time to clean all the other out at the moment. It's easier to stick new stuff in. And I'm going to throw it right back in there and let it go back to work. I would definitely call this experiment a success. I had to switch out the filter material twice before this. So this is the third set of material I've run through there. But this tank is, I mean, compared to how it was, it's just about spotless on the inside. Uh, still a tiny bit of material in there. I think if I leave it on overnight, it'll likely clean the rest of the way up. And that's not algae on the bottom, that's just the, there wasn't a whole lot of rocks. That's glass exposed there on the bottom. Sure did suck up a lot of junk in that filter though. Work just like it's supposed to.
Okay, so that little experimental filter has been running now for almost 24 hours. And that tank is pretty much spotless compared to how it was.